What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today I'm going to show you a video on how to soft mod the original Xbox. Um, there's only going to be a few things that you need to actually do the soft mod. Um, one of which is a copy of 007 Agent Under Fire. You can also use Mechasot or the original Splinter Cell. Um, all those games do work, but this is the game that I'm going to be using today to soft mod my Xbox. Next, you're going to want a Xbox controller to female USB port, um, little cable thing. Um, you can get them off eBay. I got this for $9, came in like three days, um, so it's pretty cool. And then you're going to want a thumb drive, um, preferably one that's an older one, so it will be able to be read on the Xbox, because if it's too new, it will not. This is a two gigabyte, so I'd I'd recommend like a two gigabyte to one gigabyte, so somewhere around there. Um, yeah, you need a uh, TV, obviously, with a Xbox original. You also need a computer with internet, and that is it. That's all you need. All right. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is verify your Xbox dashboard version. So go to settings, then scroll all the way down until you get to system info. And then let this scroll and do its thing. What you're going to be looking for is 5960. If it's anything other than that, you can go ahead and put a game in with Xbox Live capabilities um, as an Xbox original game, and it should update it automatically. So, let's see. Right here it comes. So it says D1.00.5960.01. That's exactly what we want. So go ahead and back out of it. All right. Now go up to memory. Now you're going to verify that all the memory has been erased off the Xbox hard drive. So as you see, I have nothing there. So go ahead and delete all your saved games, all your music, everything. Just so it doesn't propose a problem later on during the installation. Alright, now once that's done, you can go ahead and shut off your Xbox. Alright, I'll do that. Then plug that up to one of the ports on the controller, controller ports. And then hook the other end to the thumb drive. Alright, All right, so it looks just like that. Now you can go ahead and power on your Xbox. Make sure that... Um, all your memories off the thumb drive as well. What this is going to do though, it's going to format your thumb drive so it should erase it anyway. Um, but it should pop up and say that you know your Xbox is formatted to the Xbox format. So go to memory, it's going to take a little bit longer and then as you see it shows controller 2 which means it's reading my thumb drive good. Now when I click it in, it should be empty, but I already have the installation files on my thumb drive. Um, but if you have stuff on here still, um, you can go to memory and you can go to erase. Um, so I'll get to these two files later on. Um, so once that's all done, your thumb drive is formatted, it's ready to go. Then you need to go to the computer and I'll show you how to get the files on the thumb drive from there. Alright, sounds good. I'll meet you at my computer. Peace. So I'm back in my computer. Um, so go ahead and put your thumb drive into an available USB port. And you can always verify that this step one was successful by going to File Explorer, this PC, and here is the thumb drive. Um, but if you double click on it, you're not going to be able to use it unless you format it back to the PC format. So go ahead and click cancel, whatever. Alright, but to get around that, that's what we got Explorer 364. Go ahead and double click on it. And go ahead and run it. It's going to pop open this box right here. Go to Drive, Open. Go to Hard Drive on Memory Card. Go ahead and see this partition popped up. This is going to be that flash drive, um, thumb drive that you inserted um, in the Xbox format. So with that done, you can go to Soft Mod Installer Deluxe. 
go ahead and that. You can choose either SID installer USB or SID installer. I'm going to go ahead and use SID installer USB because that's what I use every time and it seems to work out pretty good. So there's that. And I'm going to extract it to the desktop. Alright, so once that's done, then you get to choose the game that you're going to be using, um, which is Splinter Cell, Mechasaw, or 007 Agent Under Fire, which is the game that I'm going to be using today to soft mod my Xbox. So go ahead and extract those files also. It's going to be to the desktop for me. Get rid of that. So with that done, it's going to give me a file called UData with the extracted files in it. And these are what it's going to pop up. Um, it's going to pop up two folders. And the bottom one is going to be the SID installer. And the top one is going to be the game. So I'm going to go ahead and do the game first. Just drag and drop onto the partition. And then this one's going to take a little bit um, of time to actually do. The first one doesn't take too long, but like a few seconds. This one's going to take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. So go ahead and drop this one onto the partition. And then it's going to take it through its little cycle. Um, so I'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, cool. And to see that your files are actually on there, you can go ahead and close, and then go back to open, hard drive, and memory card, and click it, and then there you go. You see both of them are on the flash drive. Uh, the next step is going to go back out to the Xbox and hook it up. All right, so I'll see you back over the Xbox. All right, so I'm back in my Xbox. I'm looking into my thumb drive from the Xbox. So back into controller two. Um, so what you want to do from here, you want to scroll down to SID installer USB, scroll over until it's located on the smaller icon, um, push A, go ahead and copy it to the hard drive. So just let this go ahead and copy. Alright, so once that's done, go ahead and push B. And now do the same thing for the other file. Um, but this one should be faster than the uh, installer as well. So go ahead and do that. And since that's done, you can go ahead and back out and remove your thumb drive from the Xbox. Right, go ahead and take that out. You're done with this cable. That's all you need from that. All right, so get your game. Go ahead and open it. Place the game that you're going to be using right down there. Go ahead and close it. Now let the game load up um, all the way until you get to the start menu. So let's let it uh, load the game. There we go. Skip through all the menu, menus and stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, so go ahead and uh, press start. Um, go ahead and go to load mission. And now Xbox hard drive. It should be loading the mission. Um, this is going to set you up for the SID installer. Um, so you can go ahead and install the soft mod. So it'll load into here. Um, go to backup or in restore. Create EEPROM backup. Alright, backup EEPROM. Alright, so it went ahead and backed it up. Now go to back to main menu.
And now once that's done, uh, go back up to backup, and then you want to create an MS backup. So go yes. So it should be backing up the MS. It's almost done. All right, sounds good. It's finished. All right, so once here, you want to back out all the way to the main menu again. And then you can either install the single boot soft mod or the install dual boot soft mod, um, which I'm gonna go ahead and install the dual boot um, just because it's what I always do and it never fails. So I know the single boot um, is less safe than the dual boot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then this is where you're gonna start to like kind of choose your customizations, whether you want the soft mod menu or the MS dash. I'm going to go ahead and choose the MS dash and then I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, EEPROM for HD and then you're going to choose your dashboard which I'm going to go ahead and install the Unleash X dashboard um, so yes um, it's now checking the MS backup um, and it's checking your dashboard for your original Xbox which it states that it's 5960 so yes all requirements passed, continue install, go ahead and pick yes. So now it's actually installing the soft mod. So once here, this is like the last step kind of thing. This is the last thing you need to do. Uh, once this is done, your Xbox is soft mod, um, soft modded. And then you can get your emulators um, that you want, like Nintendo 64. You can get... Um, Super Nintendo, GameCube, uh, PlayStation 1, all those fun games. And then you can also uh, install Xbox original games straight to the hard drive itself, which is pretty cool. You can upgrade your hard drive and do a lot of fun extra stuff with a soft modded Xbox. Alright. So the first part of the soft mod has been completed. Um, you must now shut down your Xbox, remove any DVDs, and restart to complete the installation. Do you wish to shut down now? Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the game. Alright. So once the game is removed, it'll let me know that the final part is ready to go. Go ahead and press A to proceed. So I'm push A. And now it'll do the last step. I believe this step is faster than the previous. It's almost done. All right, and the soft mod is complete. So as you notice, I have launched DVD, games, emulators, applications, system, uh, file explorer, MS dashboard, reboot, and shutdown. So those are my new, uh, my new dashboards. If I click games, these will show the games that you have onto the Xbox, as in Xbox original games that you, um, installed on the system itself and this will show you your emulators uh, applications it comes with DVD to Xbox um, system let you know all that but yep um, that is how to soft mod your original Xbox um, if you like this video please comment rate and subscribe um, yep have a good day peace